You've probably heard of the names like the Dow Jones, S&P 500, and the Nasdaq Composite being used frequently in daily financial news or even in general conversations about the stock market, but what do these names represent? The Dow Jones, S&P 500, and the Nasdaq Composite are the three main stock indices in the United States. A stock index is simply a measure of the performance of a group of stocks. Stock market indices are mainly used as indicators of how a specific country's stock market and economy are performing. Stock market indices are also used as benchmarks for investors to compare the performance of the stocks they own. For example, an investor with a strong stock portfolio will match or outperform the performance of the index it's being compared to. There are hundreds of stock market indices around the world, such as the DAX, which measures the performance of 30 major German companies on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, and the Nikkei, which measures the performance of the 225 most important companies in Japan. But let's take a closer look at the top three indices in the United States. First, let's look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, or more popularly known as the Dow Jones, or simply the Dow. The Dow was created by journalist Charles Dow in 1896 and was named after himself and his business partner, Edward Jones. The Dow is a price-weighted average of 30 large, established, and actively traded U.S. stocks. The Dow includes popular blue-chip stocks like Apple, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Nike that trade on the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq. The Dow will be represented as one very large value that will increase or decrease based on the movement of the 30 stocks within the index. But all 30 stocks do not have the same influence on the value of the Dow. As a price-weighted index, the stocks in the Dow with the highest stock prices weigh more heavily on the value of the index. For example, a price change in a $100 stock will have more effect on the value of the Dow than an equal price change in a $50 stock would. But with companies splitting their stock, merging with other companies, selling parts of their business, and even sometimes being removed from the Dow, the Dow isn't just a straightforward calculation. The value of the index is calculated by adding the prices of the 30 stocks in the Dow and dividing by a set number that has become very small over time due to the events previously stated. This is why the Dow is represented by such a large number. The Dow is one of the most closely watched indices in the world, as it's an indicator of how shares of some of the largest U.S. companies are performing. Also, since the Dow includes the top U.S. companies from multiple industries, it's commonly used as an indicator of how the U.S. stock market as a whole is performing. For instance, if the Dow has increased in value by the end of the trading day, investors will have expected the rest of the U.S. stock market to increase as well. If the Dow has decreased in value by the end of the trading day, investors will have expected the rest of the U.S. stock market to decline as well. Although the Dow is popularly tracked, many experts argue that the Standard & Poor's 500 index, commonly known as the S&P 500, is actually the better indicator of the U.S. stock market and economy as a whole. This is simply because the Dow only measures 30 of the most important companies in the U.S., while the S&P measures 500. Created in 1957, the S&P 500 is a market capitalization weighted index including 500 of some of the largest U.S. companies on the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq. The S&P 500 includes popular stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Johnson & Johnson and Facebook. The value of the S&P 500 is calculated by adding the market capitalizations of the 500 stocks in the index and dividing by a set number determined by Standard & Poor's. As a market capitalization weighted index, companies with higher market capitalizations weigh more heavily on the index. For example, a price change in a stock with a $20 billion market cap will affect the value of the S&P 500 more than an equal price change in a stock with a $10 billion market cap. To calculate the market capitalization of a stock, you just multiply the outstanding shares by the current share price. But no need to do this, as market capitalization of every stock is usually provided for you. The S&P 500 is known to be one of the most dynamic indices in the world with frequent changes in what stocks are included in the index. This is because the S&P 500 has specific criteria companies must meet to remain in the group. 
For example, requirements include being headquartered in the US and having a market capitalization of at least $6.1 billion. The S&P 500 is one of the most important indices in the US because both individual and professional investors use the performance of the index as a gauge for the performance of their own stocks. The S&P 500 increased in value by 19.42% in 2017, so as a US investor, a personal stock portfolio increase of 19.42% or higher would deem you a good investor for the year. Any personal gain below 19.42% would mean your stocks did not perform as well as they could have. Last but not least, the Nasdaq Composite Index was created in 1971, making it the new kid on the block. The Nasdaq Composite Index is a market capitalization weighted index, including roughly 3,000 securities listed exclusively on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. This means that the stocks within the Nasdaq Composite Index can be headquartered outside of the US but must be listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. The Nasdaq Composite Index has more securities than many other stock market indices. The Nasdaq Composite includes all stocks on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange unless they are warrants, rights, preferred stocks, ETFs, funds, derivative securities and convertible debentures. This is why the Nasdaq Composite is commonly referred to as just the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq Composite is known for being majority technology stocks, including small speculative technology companies that have a relatively higher risk and reward. Investors mainly use the Nasdaq Composite as an indicator of performance for the technology and internet sector. It's also important to realize that these three indices are not only just a great way to track the market, they can also be a great way to invest in the market. Through ETFs, which are tradable funds that track a group of stocks, you can buy funds that track the performance of these three indices. The Spider Dow Jones ETF is the most popular fund for replicating the performance of the Dow. The S&P 500 can be invested in through popular ETFs from Spider, iShares and Vanguard. And the Nasdaq Composite Index can be invested in through the well-known PowerShares QQQ ETF, which tracks the 100 largest non-financial stocks on the Nasdaq.